Hi, this is John, Senior Support Engineer for Spotlight and SQL Server Enterprise. In this video, we will be going through how to migrate the diagnostic server from one host to another. Before we get started, you should have an existing diagnostic server already. You should also have installed the same version of Spotlight on the new server that you want to move the diagnostic server to. So let's get started. Remote connect into the server that hosts the current diagnostic server. Go to the Windows Start menu, type in services.msc, look for Spotlight Diagnostic Server, and stop the service. Once the service is stopped, go to the installation folder for the diagnostic server. By default, it's located under C, Program Files, Quest Software, Diagnostic Server, and make a copy of this folder. Next, Remote into the new server hosting the new diagnostic server and paste into any directory the original diagnostic server folder that you just copied. Then go to services.msc on this new host Look for the new Spotlight Diagnostic Server and stop the service. After the Diagnostic Server service is stopped, open a command prompt as administrator. At the command prompt, go to the diagnostic server bin directory. By default, it's located in C, Program Files, Quest Software, Diagnostic Server, Agent, Bin. Type in directory. And there is a batch file called import saucy.bat. That's what we're going to run to import the settings. So type in import saucy.bat and then type in the location in which you saved the original diagnostic server folder that you moved over. Press Enter and wait for the import process to complete. Now go back to your services.msc and start up the diagnostic server again. And this will complete the migration process. If you start Spotlight, you should see all of your connections. as well as the alarm actions. And the diagnostic server options. This concludes our video. 
For more information on Spotlight on SQL Server Enterprise, or for more information on video tutorials, visit the link listed in this page. Thank you.